Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to Explain 11. We are going to take a trip today in San Francisco. It's a beautiful morning. In reality, as I'm recording this, the weather in San Francisco, based on the real world weather data, is not so good. So I had to modify it a bit so that we can see something and we can do some sightseeing. But yeah, I wanted to really travel through here because I downloaded a mod. You can check it out in the mods list in the video description, which adds the Golden Gate, adds a lot of orthophoto sceneries, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So the weather is not as perfect though, you can see the windsock there. It's actually a bit crosswind if you look at it. It's uh, perpendicular to the runway, so that's not going to be very exciting. I'm not sure how that will fly, but we'll try our best, we'll do our best, okay? First things first, let me show you the job that I took in FS Economy. So here we go. We are actually taking VIP passengers, type V. So only two passengers, but they're pay paying very well. Patient transport, so let's be uh, very careful. We'll be traveling from Half Moon Bay to 069 if you look to Sky Vector. Half Moon Bay to Petaluma Municipal. Okay, <laughs> and uh, that's going to take us from here in the south, going north there. You can see that path, it's going to be around 45 nautical miles. And the hope, my hope, is that we will be passing over the Golden Gate Bridge, I think somewhere along here, connecting these two islands. I think that's roughly where it should be, somewhere there. Yeah, and uh, Tadius has been trying to help me understand this map because it's quite complicated lots of numbers in there but i think one thing you can get from this is you can determine your ideal altitude given this path that we are taking so we either go around some stuff or we just go straight but we take note of the altitude like here you can see this 2600 in that dot there so i think that means there is a peak here a hill that is 2600 feet high up and if we try and look at the others, there's one 1600 there. Is there an easier way to do, do this? So I think ideally, at 3000 feet we should be safe, but we will be quite close to that peak there. So if ever, maybe 3000 feet is enough, but we'll just try and evade any mountains that come our way. Yeah, that's, that's how I look at it. If you have a better way of doing that, let me know, okay? Wait a minute, why did that change? Why is that changing? Oh no, that's just... Uh, no, that's just a view. Okay, so that's it. Uh, two passengers, 45 nautical miles, bearing almost north, paying a thousand. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I think that's it. So now what we need to do is we go back to explain and enable that flight. Let's start that flight. We log in, start it. Okay, there we go. Two patient transport. And uh, what I wanted to simulate as well is to simulate the payload, the weight of the passengers, because that's not automatic. Right now, you can see we have like 231 kilos in here. That's us, including the two passengers. So I want to simulate that. I want to try and simulate that. Um, let me see. So if you go for mass and balance here, let's say that I'm um, this guy, 82 kilos. Um, so with a little bit of math, we can simulate that properly. We have 231 kilos in total. Subtract that by 82, which is me. We have 149 left. Let's say both passengers weigh the same. So they are like 74 and 75 kilos each. So now we decide where to sit them, where to seat them. 74 and 75 kilos. Okay, so let's see. If we don't have any passengers, that's how it will look like. If we put both of them at the back, 74 and 75, it will be like that. And the center of gravity will be away from the middle. I think, I'm not sure what the ideal one is, but I think that is saying if you're either leaning forward or leaning back and uh, where the weight is. So I think what we can do is put the other guy here. There you go. That should land us somewhere in the middle. I think that should be good. The fuel tanks are automatically synced with, uh, if you look at here, that's 10 gallons each each tank. And that's exactly what is here. That's It sinks the fuel, but the, the payload doesn't, the load, okay? So that should be okay. Supply that, and uh, let me show you. 
if I go inside and I apply this, the the weight on the plane will change. You can see how it the shocks will the, the, the suspension. Okay, maybe not so much. Not so obvious. <laughs> but if you have a drastic difference, then you will notice it. By the way, I put in some music so it's not too uh, dead air sounding. Hope that's fine for you guys. Let me know what you think, okay? Anyway, let us do the walk around before we do anything else. Uh huh. Let's make sure that nothing is amiss. Parking brake. Uh, let's remove the yoke. Turn on the master switch. See those come up. The fuel tanks, yes, those are reflecting what we loaded. And uh, we bring down the flaps fully. Let's wait for them to go down. Once they're down, we can turn it off. And uh, we can move to the next step. Next step, making sure fuel valves are okay. Take off. Trim is in the takeoff position. You're good there. Okay. Baggage door. Yeah, that's closed. That's locked. Elevator. Okay. Rudder. That's okay as well. Let's remove the tie downs. Antenna is existing. <laughs> That's always important. Ailerons are good. Let's remove the tie down on this side. Fuel here. Yeah, we're good here. Remove the chocks. Tire is perfect. Oil is still good. Not full, but uh, more than enough. Let's remove the cover from the front. Let us, okay, that is okay as well. Fuel here is good. Pito tube cover, let's remove that. And I'm going here faster now because we've done this already before. This is like routinary checks, but we have to do it. Make sure that we're not missing anything. So if you want a more detailed step-by-step -step here, you can check out the previous episodes, right? But this is like the expert mode. Not really, <laughs> but as, spec as expert as I can get. Flaps, good. Remove the chocks as well, and we are good there. Okay, let's do the light checks as well. It's going to be especially important because we are uh, we are going to travel at uh, the start of the morning. So we turn on all the lights. And we check them one by one. Beacons are working. Lights on the what they call the starboard. Yeah? I always get confused. Starboard, good. Lights there, let's say they're working. On the, oh, I always forget. Port, left wing, port. Okay, we're good. Toggle off the lights. We are A-OK. -okay. I think we can start with our, we can start the engine, okay. Let's turn on the master switch, bring up the flaps. Turn on the beacons. Put the throttle, push it a little bit there, make sure the mixture is full rich. And because it's hot, or because it's cold, the engine is still cold, let us heat, let us uh, pump it with fuel in the beginning. So I'll turn this on and the fuel flow will increase. After a few seconds, bring it down, that should get in some fuel. Just enough to get the engine started. Okay. And now I think we can start the engine. We're good. There we go. That works. Let's turn on the alternator so that the, the battery will charge itself. Also, the, the sounds are a bit weak now, huh? But now I guess with the I guess with the uh, sounds of the plane, we can now remove the music, or do you want it louder? Let's make it louder just a tad there. Let's try that. Better. Yes, I think that should be fine. Okay, so at least we hear the engine still. Because if it's too weak, 
might not be that enjoyable anymore. Let's turn on the avionics. Turn on all our lights. Pito heat we don't really need. It's 10 degrees Celsius. Now we should be working with this in Fahrenheit, but yeah, that, okay, let's keep it there. Keep it realistic. Okay, so I've been learning a few things again from you guys. Thanks a lot for that. We can roleplay this. So right now we have an idea, a rough idea of the weather, but we want to roleplay this and we want to get the details from the radio. So... <clears throat> oh, actually this one doesn't have it. Normally you can like tune into a radio and then they will speak. But this time this is just being said right here. Yeah, normally there would be a frequency where this would be called out to you. Okay, but fine. Um, altimeter 3003, that's what I was looking for. Because we have to adjust our altimeter 3003 there so to make sure that the altitude we're seeing is accurate. So we do that, 30, you can see it's changing. And it can really vary and that can be a, like a life or death situation if you don't set that properly. 3003 should be somewhere along those lines. Right, let's set our flight plan. Let's clean that out. KHAF to what was it? Um, let me consult our sky vector here. O sixty nine. Okay, O sixty nine. It is. O six nine. So if you have any uh, recommendations on the, like if you want the music to be enabled keep on keep there the entire episode if you want the engine sound to be louder let me know okay but yeah i got some feedback from the last episode that it was a bit too loud so i'm softening it a bit a bit it's a work in progress okay oh 69 all right good okay and normally we'd get in touch with the air traffic control but i don't feel like it I think we can handle it on our own and uh, I can just try to contact them when we're landing but as we're taking off I think we have it pretty much set here and so we, they won't bug us with the uh, oh I have two high revs here I should be around 10 only okay all right and as we're almost here as well in the run up almost at the runway um, might as well do the magneto check so if I can increase that to around 1800 something like that then I use only the left magneto yeah the revs drop down by around a hundred rpms that's good and then the right one should do the same if it's not then you have to do something to be honest I'm not I can't remember what the uh, the procedure was to fix it but yeah there is an actual it can happen and there's an actual way to fix it to make it even okay Mixture is full, yeah, we can use that for takeoff. We'll make it lean later on. Uh, turn off the transponder, we're flying invisible here. <laughs> Maybe that's not such a good idea. Okay, and let me adjust my seat a bit because I can't reach my stick. Okay, good. Alright. Now we're ready to fly. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. We'll uh, realize that later. Good. Okay. Ouch. Did I get stuck? This always happens to me. I get stuck in the most uh, unfortunate places. If you watch the stream for Explain this week, it was not the smoothest. To be honest, but yeah, can't always get what we want. There we are. Oh, oh, it's a bit wobbly. We have to consider that there is crosswind. Hopefully, it's not too strong. Okay, but I think I can stabilize this a bit. Okay, good. I think we can take off now. Right. Let's lift off. And we have lift off. 
Isn't that what you say in the, like rockets and stuff? I don't know. It just seemed like the thing to say. Mixture, okay. Decrease the mixture. Yeah, that warning. I think let's lean the mixture a bit. There we go. I still don't qu don't don't quite get that fully. Also, okay, so right now I think I want to uh, I want to really see the Golden Gate Bridge, but I'm not sure if we'll have a chance to do it because the map is not very useful for me. But I think we can like trace the harbor, trace the the coast rather. And then just look to the right, and we should be seeing it eventually. Okay. Let's see. Stabilize a bit. There we go. Okay. There's actually quite high mountains, huh? How is this for sounds, guys? We will adjust in the next episode, okay? If there's anything that needs adjusting. So yeah, I was thinking of doing a Q&A here. And I think we can do that. We can actually do some Q&A when we start cruising. But first, let's admire the view. Let's take some photos. Let's enjoy the scenery. And then when we're cruising and stable, look at how beautiful that is. My goodness. My goodness. Yeah, so the Golden Gate should be somewhere on the right later. Maybe there? I have no clue. Actually, maybe we can stick to this altitude huh? so we have better view. Because if we go too high, we'll miss the nice sights. So I think we'll climb to around 2000 and then we'll level off there. Yeah, if you follow the the waypoint here for the GPS, that should actually be the Golden Gate should be somewhere along those areas, I think. Okay, that's good. We should be leveling off now. Actually, I can turn on the autopilot already. Let me change the heading here. Heading 340. Should be good. Heading and altitude. Keep it stable for me, please. Thank you. And I can tone down. Oh, look at that beautiful view right there. My goodness. My goodness. Okay. I'm dialing down the throttle bit by bit as well as leaning the mixture just a tad will you look at that guys will you look at that is it that one or is it this one I think it's this one yeah that's the one the golden gate let's take a photo there right why not let's go close so let's maybe Hmm, how do we do this? Let's uh, maybe turn in and then go parallel so we can take a nicer photo later. But my goodness, yes, this is really so good. Okay, let's go lower. This is what I wanted to do in the stream, but I was getting crashes and apparently I was doing some... I had some wrong settings which was causing conflicts. Some known issues that I have not read properly. But now I know better, hopefully. Okay. Let us reduce the speed, just coast along here. I think the airspeed we want is somewhere around 100. That is, I think is the cruising speed for this plane. There we go. It's falling bit by bit. I think it's falling too much now. Maybe just a tad. I 
Okay, how about that one? I think that should be enough. Let's keep that there. Autopilot is on. Yep. So we can go and do some sightseeing. Yeah? Who wouldn't love that view, guys? Who wouldn't love that view? Oh, why did you turn off the lights? No, don't turn it off. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Let's change it a bit so there are lights. There. I want the lights to be on. And yeah, I was having problems in the stream on how to change the time, but apparently that's an easy thing. I just have to untick the real world time. And then I can change it as much as I want. Okay, let's take some photos, guys. I don't think we I can I can resist anymore. Turn on the music as well. Keep you company so it won't be too quiet. How about that? How about that? Shame you cannot change like field of view or anything. These are like wallpaper material right here. So that's how it sounds when there's music, together with the engine sound. Is that okay for you guys? So I want to see how close I can get to the Golden Gate without crashing. Yeah, for sure that's the Golden Gate. Can I fly under it? My goodness. <laughs> that might not be such a smart move. Okay, let's try to fly parallel so we can get a nice view. I think in terms of altitude, I'm good. It's like... I, I won't be hitting those mountains, at least, I think. So, let's see. Just flick it off a bit. Even the city looks magnificent, doesn't it? Detailed lighting. The buildings over there city center and the airport the San Francisco International Airport should be somewhere I'm not sure I think it's that one somewhere in the east of the island this is one of the best views I've seen so far to be honest guys I'm really loving this hopefully you're enjoying as well and I think this is the perfect time of the day I've, I've always been a morning person and I think this just uh, Really highlights that beauty, you know, the, the subtle daylight coupled with the city lights. You get the best of both worlds. Okay, let's slow down a bit here. That's a bit too fast, I think. There we are. I think I can actually lower a bit, can I? Not. Uh Let's go down just a tad to around 1,500 maybe. Let me go closer. And my fear is if I go down so much, I might hit that mountain. If so, what we can do is we can like cross over like that way and then loop like that. Like, huh? What do you guys think? Go under the bridge? <laughs> That might end the, the episode very early. At least we'll have fun, right? No, let's, let's, let's do this professionally. You can go for a bit of sightseeing. We might be actually violating some an airspace loss in here, going this low. But I think they can forgive us. Now look how beautiful the city is. San Francisco City. I think this is done by, who was it? A very significant contributor in the X-Plane community. Mr. X6, I think is his name. Probably know him. Okay, let's go down here and let me consult Sky Vector while we're flying there. Because we are flying over here. And I'm trying to look for the peak. I think the peak here is 2600, but the bridge is somewhere here, I think. And that's San Francisco Airport. 
I'm trying to look for the peak here. 760? Maybe something like that. So I think 1.5 should do the trick. Change our heading to go parallel to the bridge. I think actually it would be better if we go a bit farther like this. Okay, maintain the altitude please. Thank you. Should be seeing the bridge. Passing it by shortly. That's cut, cutting it very close to those hills. Do you see it? Where is it? There it is guys, there it is. The golden gate in all its glory. Oh yeah. I think I like that. I like that a lot. Now how do we take a fantastic photo of this one? I think we have to go front. Here maybe. And then we can take a photo. My goodness, yes. Maybe in one of the streams, I will try to fly under it. <laughs> but today, let's keep it safe. Yeah, let's keep it safe. Let's keep it professional. But yes, that is why I love this. Explain for the win. Flight sims for the win. Going to hit that mountain? Not really. I think we're good. Okay, I think I can take a photo here. Not quite. We have to be a bit more forward. Okay. Am I stalling? No, thank you. I am a bit slow though. Face here a bit. That does look very scary. That mountain, I think we'll have to steer away from it. I don't think our altitude is enough for that. It's, it's quite far still, so that's fine. But yeah, I think we can take a photo now. There we go. There we go, guys. Thumbnail worthy shot, do you think? Which one do you like better? I think I want to include the sun there. This is like a postcard. Postcard shot. <laughs> Love it. Let, let me just take one more. Sorry. I'm really just enjoying myself here. This is the highlight of the episode. Okay, I'm happy. Now we have to survive. Now we have to survive. Okay, um, let's plan it. Let's plan. Let's look forward now. <laughs> I've been looking at the bridge for so long. Okay, so I can easily avoid it if I just stay on the right here. Yeah, stay on the right. And actually that's fine because the the airport is that way anyway. Okay. Alright. We're good. Actually we can climb now again. Let me change the heading. Maybe face north. Parallel to that road. And then maybe let's try to go up a bit. Put in more power so we don't stall. Even that bridge looks wonderful. Yeah, this mod includes a couple of very nice sceneries. Not only the Golden Gate, but also some other famous bridges which I don't know the name. You might know it better though. Okay, speed-wise we are good. Right. Okay, okay. We can keep that there. Not really the correct heading though. Shoo, look at that. What a beauty. Okay, so I think once we crest that mountain, we can go around it a bit. Although I think we do really need to rise up. Because I'm seeing, I think, for the rest of the way, that's how it high it is. So I think around 3000 should be the safe bet. Let's go and uh, hit the nav button here so the autopilot will try to take us along those the same slope, the same that exact pink line there. As long as it doesn't drive us into the mountain, we should be fine. 
actually we can climb up faster I think our speed should be able to handle it yes I'm going to pay close attention to that because during the stream if you watched it there we had a very close encounter the stall whistle was really going at it in full swing actually even here it's fine already even here it's fine speed is okay yeah we're good it it seems scary because at, from this view it seems like we're going to hit the mountain but if you go outside and like look at it from that angle not really we're actually clearing it quite a bit already now i have no clue what the the ideal altitude is for this plane for this area but I think I'm happy with 3,000. I don't want to be too high up because I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to miss out on the scenery, you know? The farther you are, the more fog there will be. And so the less you will see, the less you'll be able to enjoy. There you go. Okay. Now I think we can cruise and maybe we can do some Q&A as we are... Uh, enjoying the view air speed 100 is my goal let me try play around with the mixture a bit okay that should be okay fuel flow right in the green zone okay i think that's cruising speed there Yeah, let's do some Q&A's. Okay, it looks like no immediate danger. Let's do some Q&A's. And let, let me try not to fast forward it. Because fast forwarding is nice, but it kind of takes away from the immersion. If you look at the ETE, we have 11 minutes. So I can spare a couple of minutes doing some Q&A's. Let's just do one flyby, right? Just one flyby. Oh yeah. There's a city there, actually. Oh, I was so scared. I thought it was going to hear a stalling sound. It looks like we are traveling a bit faster. Let me lean the mixture a bit. Maybe we don't need that much fuel. There we go. So the, the GPS is working now. Since I hit that instead of nav, it's following the GPS waypoint there. And so this line is the same as that one. And because we hit nav in the autopilot, it's following the, the directions here. Yeah, I don't really know the name. Nav 1, I think. It's following that, basically. Alright, let's do some Q&As. Um, we finished the last time in the ATS episode with Jay's questions. So Jay was asking, What childish thing do you still enjoy and why? Hmm... So I'm a bit of a killjoy when it comes to this. I don't like doing pranks. I don't like... Uh, I don't like... hassling people. And kids usually do that. You know, they're very playful at the cost of their elders or whatnot. So I'm a bit of a killjoy in that, in that regard. So I don't do that anymore. I try to be as behaved as possible. And we can maybe go out here and just... We can maybe do some scenery enjoyment so if you don't want to hear my voice you can just mute the thing admire the scenery play some music in the background and you should still enjoy the video okay so i hope you can hear me through this noise though let me know in the comments right san francisco is still visible from there beautiful and that bridge that bridge is magnificent as well i'm running out of adjectives here so, uh, what childish thing? Um, I would have to say it's more about food than anything else. What airport is that? We good there? Yes, we good. Go inside. Cruising speed, more or less. Let me just maybe put in a bit on the mixture. A tap or two. Or more. Maybe that will make us faster? Not really. 
Not really. That's the airport I saw, I think. CA 35. Okay, let me just speed up a little. Just a tad. There you go. That should be enough. Okay, but yes, it's more about food. The childish thing I do is I still cheat when it comes to food. So as you grow older, you become more conscious with the food that you eat. And uh, nowadays, being, at, being 33 recently, getting to 33 recently, I was... I'm starting to get into the healthy diets, you know, less rice, less fatty stuff. Well, more fatty stuff because I like that philosophy, but less carbs, more salad, more veggies, things like that. But I do like to cheat every now and then. And I like to cheat with food together with Mrs. Clumsy. So we, like we are, uh, how do you say? conspirators or <laughs> what is that term <laughs> yeah we are in it together so we like eat ice cream get cheesecake like during my birthday i specifically asked mrs clumsy to buy me a whole cheesecake and this was like one of those artisanal cheesecakes and they were like uh, they were able to give me some is that an airport with a blinking thing very nice huh So yeah, um, I, I asked her to buy me an entire cheesecake, a full cheesecake, full sized, and then we ate it together for like, I don't know, three or four days. <laughs> and it was amazing. Like, I really like that. So, why are we not traveling on a straight path? It's like we're a bit diagonal. Is that because of the wind? Probably. Okay, but yes, uh, so that's something that I really like to do still, and I really enjoy that. 0.69 is up ahead, 6 minutes away. But that's probably more, more because we have to circle around it. I think what I can do now... How far away are we? We're like 20 nautical miles away. I can start trying to get in touch with the control center. Uh, 069 So yeah, I asked her to Buy me a whole cheesecake. We ate it and it was like this it's a special cheesecake with like uh, I don't know how many like eight different flavors in the single cake But it's not like combined all together. It's like one slice is this flavor one size slice is this flavor, but it comprised the entire cake Okay, let's go 3000 Request clearance. Four seven zero zero. Turn on the transponder. Maintain three thousand. We got there. Is that the airport we're landing at already? That seems too close, though. Maybe that's too close. Zero vectors for visual runway two nine descend and maintain two thousand two nine. Interesting though that we're heading two zero zero like so far away. That for real? Are you serious? Three zero zero two. Okay. It's a bit of delay with the audio. Like the sounds are not playing it. Yeah, look at that. Why is it asking me to make a U-turn? That's weird. Uh, probably the runway is facing this way. They did say runway 29. So 29 is actually that way 2 minus that way November, November. probably probably SJX Vision 1, Charlie, Victor, Charles and Scholz Sonoma Company 1, 1 and 2, 9 3, 0, 0, 2, 2, 9 is facing Charles M. Scholz like west Altimeter 3, 0, northwest 0, SJX Vision 1, Charlie, Victor something like that, okay yeah, this is weird Okay, but yeah, let's follow the ATC. 
So yeah, we are actually going farther now. But yes, okay, let's follow it. There we go. Thank you. No, 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 no. That's the opposite side. That's the other plane. One one zero is where he want, wants us to go. Two thousand. Okay, I didn't realize that. Are we safe at two thousand here? I don't think that's safe, to be honest. We throttle down here a bit. The ATC might be setting me up to fail here. Okay, well let's pause the QA for a bit because I have to focus. I have to switch this to heading so it will follow the exact heading that I chose. Just 110. Okay, how about that? Are we going to hit that guy? Like, look how close we are to that guy there. No, 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 I'm not comfortable with this. Go straight. Maybe we go down after this mountain, but not before. Yeah, the ATC is kind of uh, oblivious to that regard, to altitude. In one of the streams before, they almost had me go into a mountain, into a volcano, head on. Okay, it's not that smart, at least here in this game. Skyhawk. I know, I know, but uh, you're gonna kill me. All right, yes, but that was my answer. Childish, childish thing you still enjoy: eating, eating unhealthy food, chips, ice cream, cheesecakes, all that stuff from time to time. It's nice to let go and just enjoy life from time to time right i think <laughs> where the heck is this guy telling us to go i did say 069 right hmm do we trust him the next turn if he doesn't ask us to turn left i'll probably uh but yeah it makes sense because if the runway that we're going to is 270 or 280 should be facing northwest so we should be approaching from the southeast like this in that direction so it kind of makes sense still all right all right all right i'll take it i'll bite oh no more lights on the streets because it's 7 a.m now fine okay we're good level off that should be 2000 feet right there Actually, trim it a little. Just Skyhawk go down a bit. Sierra, there we go. Okay. It asks us to turn left. Okay, so that makes sense. I follow you again. I trust you again. Good. Everything else good. The oil temperature, pressure, everything else, I think we're fine. But man, this is such a nice place to fly in. The sights, the sights we see. I mean, look at that. Perfect mixture of city and nature. And beautiful roads. Only thing is, how am I going to answer questions with the, this guy babbling all around? <laughs> okay, but anyway, let's move on to the next question. Hope you guys can hear even with this ATC. Try to tune it out. What is the most useless thing you know how to do, and why do you know it? <laughs> huh. Ah, yes, yes, I, uh, I know how to... Wait a minute, why are we falling? 
throw the lock. That is weird. Are we getting like wind resistance or something? Sometimes I don't get it still. Still not that familiar with the controls and what how the external factors affect us. Lower the fuel, make it lean. Okay, there you go. I'm just balancing the, the, the mixture, I have some hotkeys. And then I'm looking at that to see the fuel flow in the EGT. Three, six, so it's not too much at the peak. Let's slow down a bit here, we're going past the intended speed. Just a tad. Just a tad. Okay, if, you make, if I make it super lean, that significantly, like a single switch in the mixture makes, you see that huge drop there? I'm not sure if that's healthy, but I can do it and I'm not getting warned by the, the, the mod, the REP. So I think I can keep it. And I think we're slowing down bit by bit, that's fine, as long as we keep it on the 100. Do we have ILS here? We do not. Okay, fine. <gasps> We're actually headed straight towards that guy. And he's along the same Two, altitude. Three, not really, because we're at 2000, climate so maybe we should see him on the three, northwest Two, or, or left. Port side, right? Oh, beautiful. We should see him somewhere here. Up top, maybe. Or maybe not, I don't know. Where is he? Okay, anyway, alright, speed is perfect now. Okay, we can continue the questions. Oh man. Okay. 320. I should start slowing down, I think. Are, are we in the downwind? 069. Well, it's quite far still. So we should be seeing him on the right side now. The plane. Can I see anything? Maybe it's not being drawn in. Maybe it's too far. Let me know in the comments if you saw something, alright? 320 is what we wanted. Alright. At the very least, I'm hoping there are puppy lights in the airport in the runway we're landing in. That will make things a lot easier. Okay, heading is right. Am I headed straight into that mountain? I hope last minute he asks us to turn. Oh, there's the runway. There's the direction of the runway. So we are headed straight onto that. I think it's ask, going to ask us to turn left soon. Just a bit. We maybe ask for... That's the airport. That's the airport. I'm sure of it. So we will not reach that peak. Most useless thing to do. Know how to do. I know how to move my ear without using my hands. I don't know why I know how to do it. I think it's one of those like icebreaker moments that you know you have to know how to do something. <laughs> but yeah, I can like it's very subtle and it's not very good. But I think that's the only thing I can do aside from the, the useless thing I can do. Or I can also like bend my uh, my thumb. Like, you know how that... I don't know how to describe it. Like, my thumb is... Can be, like, bent backwards. To a, like, painfully looking angle. Without hurting me. 
I think some people are born that way, right? The, the joints are a bit more loose in the thumbs. I'm one of those. And I can like, before, I could actually pull my thumb backward all the way until the thumb reaches the forearm. That's how far it is. Okay, I think that's us already. Bro, why are you not telling me to uh, move left or something? Let me slow down already. Should be on the approach here. Final. There you go. Yeah, I see it. So it's not a very... Uh, I don't think we can answer any more questions because I have to really focus now. But, yes, there you go. Skyhawk, 2, Sierra, Papa, clear visual approach, runway, 2, 9, contact tower on, 1, 2, 2, point, 7, 0. I turned off the autopilot now. Clear visual approach, runway, 2, 9, contact tower on, 1, 2, 2, point, 7, 0, Skyhawk, 2, Sierra, Papa. Let's check in with the controller. Tower, Sky, can you make me land, please? I think at this point I can probably nose up so I can slow down a bit and then I can open my flaps flaps then okay opening flaps let's fall gracefully if we zoom in I'm going to have a look at the papi lights it's saying one red Three white, that means I'm a bit too high, so I have to increase my descent. I've, I've never been good at this. I've always like had like four whites or three reds. I've never gotten the, the perfect balance of two white and two red. It's a work in progress, guys. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Okay, and I think I can do. actually be traveling a bit too low here pitch for airspeed you want to be a bit faster that's fine so we're slowly descending and I did not check what the height of the airport was so if I check it 069 is 86 feet above sea level okay that's good because some of them are like thousands of feet up and it's not like you can like rely on this. I'm way up here and I'm actually not aligned still. It's fine. It's fine. We still have we still have uh, we still have uh, s some leeway in here. I think these papillates are actually done very smartly. I thought they were like dynamically changing. Sierra. Thank you. But apparently, those are like lights that are different depending on how you look at them, on where you look at them. So both white and red are there, and it just depends on what you see depending on the angle. It's very smart, actually. Very smart. I was thinking how they made it that uh, planes see white and red at times. There you go. One red, two white? No, not yet. There we go. Okay, one red, three white rather. Let me move to the left here a bit. Let's get some speed here. I think I can enable flaps again. Okay, there we go. That's the right altitude. Oh, I think I want some flaps to slow me down. Pitch my nose down. Because when you turn on your flaps, it tends to pitch your nose high up normally. Okay, too white, too red. We don't get that often. Let's celebrate that. Now I'm too high again. I'm going to uh, lessen the throttle. So we fall faster. Pitch for scare speed and throttle for altitude, right? Something along those lines. Okay. And the tip I got from Mentor was the papi lights are useful to a point, but when you get to a certain level, like 200, 300 feet, 
right before touchdown, they don't have much use anymore. They are going to be too sensitive and you don't you should not follow them anymore. Something like that. Okay, so to a point they work. But yeah, I think right now, so we see three red, I would pull up, but I think maybe I don't need to. And now it's four red. I'm not sure if this is right or not. But I'll just keep it here. There we go. Keep it steady. Steady as she goes. Pull up. Skyhawk, two, Sierra, Papa, in taxi via two, nine, alpha, three, alpha. Good. Flaps up. Break. It's a bit too much. Okay. Excellent landing. I'll take it. I'll take it. Granted, I guess we probably Sky should have had two, our Sierra, Papa, nose up a lot more. Two, nine, alpha, three, alpha. But I think that's uh, much better than the, <laughs> than the, uh, than the one we did last episode. Let's do a replay on that and have a look. Okay, instant replay. Love this game. Love this sim. Okay, let's have a look. Steady. Actually, I'm in the middle as well. That doesn't happen very often. Pull up, pull up. Just a bit. Yeah, just a tad. There's a bug with the REP that when you replay, it kind of simulates still what's happening. I hope that's not really the case. So like if you have your parking brake on and you uh, if you have your parking brake on and then you kind of uh, um, do the replay it will tell you don't uh, land with the parking brakes on things like that. So it's a bit weird that way. Okay so I think what I can do Let's finish this properly. Yes, I can go around because I missed the runway. What I'm still lacking, aside from the actual landing, landing uh, skills, is uh, how to brake, how to slow down properly after you land. Because right now, what I'm doing is I'm putting up the flaps. And then I'm not sure if I can hit on the brakes immediately or if I just, I need to like pull up to slow down, let the aerodynamics do its thing or maybe both. So if you guys have tips for me, let me know, okay? In the meantime, let's park this properly. Let's do this the right way. Okay, let's just make a turn right here, okay? There we go, there's the line. Alright. I wonder how far that is. But yeah, that was one of my nice landings, I think. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'll have a look at the video after. Maybe that's the best replay. Hmm. Yeah, only maybe pull up more. Ideally, it's really it makes you paranoid though, doesn't it? There we are stopping, okay close enough. Maybe I can speed up a little And then I'll have a hard time parking again or stopping again Maybe I can turn left here. There's a yellow line after all. Don't turn too sharply. Oh, there's another Cessna in here. Cool. And it's done. So actually, I think it's up to us now where we want to stop. Maybe we stop before the truck. Stop somewhere here. Okay, let me hit the brakes. 
Okay. It says, yeah, you can also pull up like this to help with the aerodynamics and help with the braking. Okay. Parking brake. Turn that off. Let's uh, turn off the avionic avionics. Oh, I didn't put my flaps fully up. My bad. Okay. But I, I put them down fully right before we landed. So that's the important thing. Okay, let's turn off all the lights except the beacons. Alright, now the, with the avionics off, now we can turn off the engine by pulling on this guy. Set the throttle. Make sure that's in the middle for the next guy. Turn off the battery. Turn this off. And I think we are done. Let's just do the walk around and uh, check. Oh, no, wait. Let's submit the job. I almost forgot. Submit the job. We'll review it. There we go. Still 15 gallons. That's fine. I think this is one of my most favorite flights so far. I think we're learning, guys. I think we're learning. Okay, so if you refresh this. There we go, no more aircraft, and if we look at the logs, we should see something. There we go. We earned $894 there. So the cost of the rental of the plane was $91. As we traveled for less than an hour. And, but we rented it dry, so we paid for fuel. And the ground crew fee is quite expensive, actually. 136 distance bonus is negative because we placed the plane away from its normal home. So instead of earning 1 1, we earned 894. It's not bad, not bad. So now we have uh, 10,621 in total. Let me actually. I don't know what this is for. I can actually transfer my cash to the bank. I'm not sure if you lose it, if you like crash or something. <laughs> but <laughs> I like keeping it in the bank to be safe. Right? Good. And then next up, let's check the maintenance here. Everything is still good. Yes. Okay. Fine. 44 hours before we need to replace our oil. Uh-huh. Battery fully charged. Everything okay. Even the tires. And look at this. So flight time reward, 129 bucks. For 38 minutes of flight and look at their landing. Negative 31 FPM. I think the closer to zero, the better. Yeah. We, ha we got $45 there. That's like half the entire flight time. Or one third. It's amazing. Okay, so that gives a huge incentive for getting the landing right. Okay, good. So last thing before we leave. Let's do the walk around for the post-flight. There we go. Let's cover the pito. Tie this, these guys down. Yes. And uh, one last chocks on this side. And we are good to go. Now we can leave. All right. So that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I think I. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Usually I'm stressed when I fly, but now I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. And uh, a lot of things to be improved still, but I think I'm starting to enjoy myself really. Learning a lot thanks to you guys. So keep them coming, keep the comments coming, and uh, peace. Let me know if you enjoy this series. Hit the thumbs up, hit the like button, comment, suggestions, violent reactions. Share with your friends, let's spread the love. Let's get into flight sim, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Catch you in the next episode. Clumsy flying. And bye-bye. And sorry for that short Q&A. <laughs>